Hi and welcome to a lecture on opportunistic infections in HIV positive patients. Opportunistic infections are a major cause of mortality and morbidity in HIV positive patients and may be the first evidence of immunodeficiency leading to the diagnosis of HIV or AIDS. Susceptibility to specific opportunistic infections increases as the CD4 count declines. Now, under therapeutic choices, we shall get to discuss the various clinical syndromes such as respiratory tract syndromes, painful mouth and swallowing, central nervous system symptoms, fever of unknown origin, diarrhea, and immune reconstitution inflammatory syndromes. Cryptococcus neoformans. Cryptococcus neoformans is a major cause of meningitis in the later stages of HIV infection. Induction therapy usually involves 2 to 6 weeks of intravenous amphotericin B with or without flucytosin and then completion of a minimum 8 week course of oral or intravenous fluconazole 400 mg a day. Induction therapy involves oral valgangcyclovir or intravenous gangcyclovir or intravenous foscarnet for 14 to 21 days. Maintenance therapy involves daily administration of either oral valgangcyclovir, intravenous foscarnet or intravenous cytophovir. The duration of induction therapy in the management of mycobacterium avium complex is 2 to 4 months followed by maintenance therapy. Maintenance therapy consisting of either clarithromycin or azithromycin plus ethambutol with or without rifabutin is continued for life unless a patient has sustained immune recovery on combination antiretroviral therapy.